if you put $100 in a savings account that compounds at 1% annually, how much will you have after one year? Hopefully, you know the answer is $101. But how about after two years? The correct answer is $102.01. Now, where did that one cent come from? The answer is compound interest. This is one of my favorite personal finance topics to talk about. And compound interest is something that really no one has been able to truly capture. Honestly, I'm not even going to try to explain the mathematical formula and define the variables that go into it. You can just go Google the compound interest formula if you want. But I thought it'd be best to show you the different expenses that you may or may not have that can cost you with compound interest. So that $4 latte that you get every morning, we're going to look at that. That $200 cable internet bill, we're going to look at that. That $523 car payment, that $2,000 mortgage, and yes, even your $10 entertainment subscription. Let's just see how much those monthly recurring expenses could cost you with compound interest factored in. But first, let's try to define compound interest. Bankrate.com says compound interest is a method of calculating interest whereby interest earned over time is added to the principal. As with interest, generally compound interest is the key incentive for banks to issue loans and for depositors to keep money at banks. It is regularly applied to savings accounts or loans according to various compounding methods. It's this phenomenon where money saved, money loaned, money invested, earns on that money and more money is earned on top of what has earned previously plus the initial amount that was saved, invested, or loaned. And I'm calling it a phenomenon because everyone generally knows kind of what it is, but no one exactly knows, like I said, how to capture the true nature of what it is. Even Albert Einstein is said to have called the power of compound interest is the most powerful force in the universe. And so for this exercise, we're going to look at five different expenses compounding annually at 8% over 40 years. Now you may be wondering, where did the 8% come from, Matt? Well, 8% is generally what the personal finance community agrees is what will be your long-term annual growth of money invested in a mutual fund index fund like an S&P 500 index fund or like the U.S. total market index fund, both which are favorites of mine. So that $10 entertainment subscription, let's talk about that real quick. We all have that one subscription we love to keep, whether it's Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, whatever it is that we feel like we need, we feel like we've got to have. Now, generally, I'm thinking it's about $10 probably gone up to about $15 actually, but $10 a month compounded annually at 8% over 40 years gives you about $31,000. And the non-interest portion of that was $4,800. So go ahead and enjoy your endless binge watching programs on the three different subscriptions you have. But you may want to reconsider whether you have five, six of them, maybe just two or three. So that way you could say that $10, 20, $30 and that's gonna make a big difference over the next 30, 40 years. The second monthly expense is that $4 latte or that $4 cup of coffee that you love to have in the morning, or if you're like me, maybe in the afternoon. That's about $120 a month for that expense, right? Now, I'm not saying you can't get your latte, your cappuccino, your chai tea, whatever the case may be, but be wise because $120 a month compounded annually at 8% over 40 years gives you about $373,000. Of course, with that, the non-interest portion that you ended up paying for was $57,600. So over the course of 40 years, the vast majority of that $373,000 was either interest you earned or interest you paid if it was a debt. Now, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I figured for this next expense, it's cable internet at around $200 a month, basically a cable internet bundle type of package. Either way, at $200 a month, compounding at 8% annually, the average annual rate of return over 40 years, it will give you $620,000. Again, that's $200 a month, compounding 8% annually over 40 years, $620,000. Now, what's amazing is out of that $620,000, what actually came out of your pocket was $96,000 in that 40 year period, if you were to invest in the S&P 500, or if you were to invest it in a US total market index fund, I think that is tremendously amazing to see 
that if you were to save that money, that $200 that you could put away over the next 30, 40 years, that's a lot of money that you'll be able to have for retirement. Of course, that's gonna depend on your expenses, your cost of living, and also any debt that you may have had over the 30, 40 years that you might have introduced into your life. And of course, getting rid of debt is part of the journey. Now, this next monthly expense I know is one that we don't have for 30 or 40 years, but for some people, they do. So ladies and gentlemen, a $523 car payment compounded annually at 8% over 40 years is about $1.6 million. How much of that money, if you had invested that in the S&P 500, was money that you contributed? $251,000. Of course, I know you don't have the same car payment for 40 years. We've already talked about this, right? But for some of us who like to get new cars every couple of years and stay with car payments over 20, 30 years, you can see how important it is to try not to get into this habit of continuing to stay in debt for cars because that is the opportunity cost that you're going to miss out on having $1.6 million in retirement. Now, this last example is more of a visual to help motivate you as much as possible. Many of us obviously will never be able to save this much per month, but even if you did $500 or $1,000, that is pretty decent. But if you can get to that $2,000 a month, maybe between you and your employer that you're contributing to your 401k along with other tax advantage savings accounts, you're able to total up that amount to $2,000 a month. Let's see what that is compounding at an average annual rate of 8% over 40 years. This is going to give you $6.2 million. And of that $6.2 million, you contributed $960,000, which is no joke by any means, of course. But you can see growing that money with compound interest working for you, in my opinion, is one of the best ways to build wealth, to get rich, to stay rich, and to build that retirement nest egg for your future. Another Albert Einstein quote, and there's debate whether he actually said it or not, it doesn't matter. But the point is, this quote says that compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it earns it, and he who doesn't pays it. Now, sometimes it can be hard to tell whether you're moving in the right direction when you're trying to achieve financial independence. I talk about the signs that are going to tell you whether you're doing financially well in the video on the screen. Make sure you check it out and I'll see you over there. Peace.